And good evening everyone. I'm Brian Allen. I'm Andrea Anderson. Today is recognized as International Overdose Awareness Day. Many people gathering in Sioux Falls this evening to commemorate that. There were speakers that shared their stories, provided education and training with Narcan. Parker Brown in studio with our 10 o'clock top story tonight. Parker. Hey Brian and Andrea, tonight the Ark of Dreams was lit purple, a symbolic color to represent those affected by drug overdoses. Every day around 300 lives are lost in the U.S. from an overdose and that number has been steadily rising in recent years. This epidemic is not new, but it needs to be addressed now more than ever. Amazing grace. One pill could be the cause of heartbreaking loss and change lives forever. The coordinator of tonight's vigil, Melissa Flynn, lost her stepson to an overdose in 2018. She didn't hesitate to get involved in prevention and awareness. Even at Nicholas's funeral, I was asking my pastor, how can I help? I need to do something to try to prevent this from happening to other families. Tish Kalla lost her son Justin last year. She found him lying unconscious in her home. He had been making progress but still battled his addiction behind closed doors. He was an athlete, a mathematician, a friend, a brother, and a son. I think it is important to share the story so that people can understand that it can be anyone. It can be your best friend, it can be your neighbor, it can be your coworker, it can be anybody. Raising awareness of the epidemic and honoring those who were gone too soon were not the only efforts put into the event. Substance use disorder sometimes carries a stigma. Working to remove that stigma will take some work, but organizers say that it could make a difference. Substance use disorder and what it looks like for getting help, it's not as easy as just quit, and it's not as easy as maybe a one-time treatment, and sometimes it's not as easy as a replacement therapy that we can use too, but knowing that Everyone is different, everybody goes through different things, and that their path may look different can really help save lives. Finding help is crucial, and it's a step of courage. There are many resources available for people to reach out to so that they can be alive to tell their story. Behind every addiction is not a substance, but a person fighting for their life. I think it's important to remember not only the way someone died, but also to honor the way they lived. I think it's important not only to have awareness, but to recognize that it's not the addiction and it's not that manner of death, but these are also people with a story and a life and people who love them. There are plenty of resources locally and nationally for those who are struggling with substance use disorder. If you or a loved one is battling addiction, you can find links to multiple resources on this story at dakotanewsnow.com. Brian and Andrea.